Good morning. Today we're at Sam's Club. We're going to go in, stock up on a few things, check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about. Let's get to it. Okay, so I think they were expecting us here at Sam's Club today. They've got all this Disney stuff. It's like, hey, don't just stock up on food. Stock up on your Mickeys. That is one big Mickey Mouse. <laughs> okay, so we're rushing back to the toilet paper because everybody in everybody's cart, it is Saturday, so it is gonna be a little busy, but with everything going on, you know, we're gonna try and stock up a little bit. Wanna make sure we get a thing of that toilet paper. They are pretty well stocked, but don't let this fool you. Uh, you know, everybody coming in here, you can buy up to two. Uh, wait a minute, did they take the sign down? Can you buy more than two now? I don't know. But we're definitely getting one. Also, we do do the scan and go. So we don't, we pay for it online, so we don't have to wait in line on a long lined day here at Sam's Club. And they do have plenty of paper towels. So with prices going through the roof at a lot of places, I did want to point out, we are getting less and less picky, but I did want to show that the Classic Roast 100 Count Folgers is up to $42.33. Starbucks is up from 31 about $31 to $39.28. That is a significant price increase. So here's something really awesome. I like to change it up one week I'll get, well, one month I'll get a uh, Starbucks and then the next time I come in, I usually get the Duncan. Duncan's on sale. Duncan was $39 and some change uh, the last time we were here a few weeks ago and now it's $33.22. So this one's on sale. Maybe the next time we come, Pike's Place will be on sale again. We're waiting in line to get a hot dog because we are hungry. And where else can you get a hot dog and a pop for $1.62? We got two hot dogs, one with the drink combo, all together, $3.02. all this nice looking salmon over here. They do have this for $9.99 a pound. The antibiotic free Atlantic salmon. Really good salmon. This is probably my favorite. They do have the sockeye salmon. Not as big of a fan of this one. And this is $11.48 a pound, so a little more. Boy, some butter and some lemon go really good on these. I did want to show that they still have their 88% lean hamburger still on sale, $4.18 a pound. $4.18 a pound. Uh, check out your local Sam's Club. Great deal. Great deal. You're not going to find this lean of meat cheaper, and we get it a lot. Really good. So we got a lot of comments on the brown sugar boneless members mark hams here. $2.84 a pound. Does look like they have a good amount of them. They are, um, you know, they're kind of smaller than I remember, but we've heard they're really good. They also have the Carver hams here for $2.48 a pound. I gotta say, these do look pretty good. They do still have the rotisserie chickens for $4.98. Uh, glad to see that those haven't gone up. They don't have any on the shelf right now, but they are cooking. The last time we were here, they didn't even have them. So good to see that they've got them back in. What'd you say? What? I said, did you want chicken alfredo? Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah. No, I you... said, maybe we shouldn't eat them hot dogs. Right. Yeah, that's the nice thing about Sam's Club is they give you all these little taste testing things. What is this? Chicken, chicken alfredo. alfredo. Mm. They do have the pork chops, pork loin chops, two forty eight dollars a pound. It's a pretty good deal. We've seen that Kroger's has gone up to three forty nine dollars a pound on sale. After the sale, it's going to be five ninety nine dollars a pound. They do have the USDA Choice beef chuck roast for $5.99 a pound. I will say these things are huge. You can always cut them up. You know, like what we'll do is we'll cut off like maybe half and we'll freeze the other the other one in the other half. It's a pretty good deal, but Kroger's does have a sale on them this week. Buy one, get one free. Now it's $8.49 a pound, but you get one free. So that makes it uh, pretty well worth it. They do have their Angus strip steaks on sale for $9.98 a pound. I gotta say, the meat quality here at Sam's Club is always top notch. Always looks a lot better. One of these days, I'm gonna get one of these cowboy ribeyes. This one's on sale right here, twenty-one dollars and twenty-six cents. What a deal! I might get that actually. They have the Members Mark Angus uh, ribeyes for ten ninety-eight a pound. I know that sounds expensive, but it's better than fourteen ninety-nine, fifteen ninety-nine a pound. This one is 2.85 pounds for $31.29. I think we're gonna go ahead and get this. This looks really good. Uh, we may just end up freezing it, 
But, you know, I don't know what these prices are going to be next week. See how much these were? Too much money. $10 for a watermelon. Now, we haven't seen any big watermelons at the grocery stores lately, just those little personal watermelons. $9.98. We need to start a farm. They do have the five pound halos here. Not much of a sale. The cheapest we've seen the five pound is at Walmart, which Sam's Club is Walmart basically. $7.68 here, um, you know, about 30 cents cheaper. Also, they have three pounds of the Sumo uh, Citrus Mandarins. They're $7.98, but they are $2.50 a piece at most stores that we go to. They're, they're two for five at Kroger, um, so it is a little bit of a better deal. $8 for six of them, basically. So I have kind of been talking to some people, asking about the price rises. I was listening to a lady talk to her friend about how she can't believe how much things have gotten here. Things are getting really expensive, some things that we normally don't buy. I can't point out everything all the time at Sam's Club because this store is so massive. But we are noticing some, we're noticing some savings too, like the coffee. The Dunkin' Coffee's down $6.50, so definitely going to buy that. Uh, the toilet paper, from what someone said, was $18.98 a couple months ago, but they didn't have any. They were always selling out of it. Now it's $20, and they have plenty. It's our favorite toilet paper. It's the most bang for your buck. Um, and this place is crazy right now. And, and this, we usually come here on Saturdays mostly because we have to, but people are kind of rushing through here and it, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of strange. So Sam's Club is limiting people to two cases per item or 12 packages. I don't really know what that means. So you can get 12 packages of chicken? <laughs> I don't really know. It's kind of weird. The nice thing is, is that they actually have chicken. Uh, we've been seeing the chicken has kind of gone. We can't hardly find any. We saw it was very low at Aldi, very low at Kroger, next to none at Walmart. But it's good to see the members mark is still getting in some. Not as big of a selection as usual, but they do have chicken thighs. We haven't seen thighs in a while. And chicken tenderloins. I haven't seen those in a while either. I don't really see the sales on them though. Uh, two fifty six per pound for the thighs. That does seem up. The drumsticks, though, are still ninety eight cents a pound. That's as good of a deal as we're gonna find. Let's see what the chicken wings are. Chicken wings are two ninety eight a pound. Um, this looks like a good amount of chicken wings. I know chicken wings have gone up in price, but at least they have them in. Well, people were asking about ground turkey. They do have the Genio uh, ground turkey here. It comes in a two pack. Uh, $15.98. Two, two, two and a half units, two and a half pound units, 93% lean ground turkey. Uh, two things of them for $16. We know that ground turkey has gone up in price, so probably not too bad of a deal here, but, you know, it's hard to find. So I did want to point out that they are pretty low on their 10 pound bags of sugar. $6.36 for a 10 pound bag of Domino sugar. Uh, they have their 25 pound bags for $15.16. They do have their eight pack, eight cans of Progresso for $11.58. We know a lot of our viewers love the Progresso soups. About as good of a deal as we can get right now. Uh, you do have to get all the, it's all just chicken noodle, uh, not a variety, but you know, these things are a lot lower and we're noticing them kind of moving things in different areas, things that they're out of. Uh, I can't even find the Del Monte vegetables anywhere. Um, they do have the six packs of Ben's Original Ready Rice, the Jasmine, for $8.98. That's a lot cheaper than we've seen it per packet like Kroger. $2.49 at Kroger for one. So much better deal here. They do have the Bush's Black Beans, $5.98 for a six pack. And it's good to see that they have the original back end. It is $9.87 though for an eight pack. Okay, so they did push the Del Monte vegetables down here. They didn't used to be here. They do not have much. This is way less than I've ever seen it at Sam's Club. Um, they do have the beans, still $6.48. And the peas, the peas are actually cheaper than they were the last time we were here. They're $6.48. That is down from $6.98. Um, 
that it is kind of strange but it is what it is uh can't can't argue when it's cheaper the corn is still six dollars and 48 cents um but yeah they they have some uh we're fully stocked on this but i just wanted to bring it to your attention because it is getting lower and they moved it down to this end for a reason and again always check when you check out because i just noticed here they have the eight count same ounces 19 ounce cans eight packs twelve dollars and 58 cents said eleven dollars and 98 cents down there so one of them is wrong okay so you definitely want to check at checkout that the prices are correct this one here for the same progresso soup chicken noodle 19 ounce cans twelve dollars and 58 cents over here in the aisle eleven dollars and 58 cents so what i would normally do in that situation i would take a picture of the one that says eleven dollars and 58 cents so that they give it to you for that and not what this is this is probably the new price though so keep that in mind see so i would take a picture of this just to make sure this does say on here 12.58 with a dollar additional savings so it would probably come up right at the register but I would still take a picture of it to make sure you get that dollar off. We did get some comments on the Cracker Barrel Sharp White Cheddar Macaroni, which we haven't been able to find here. It's, it's been missing. $12.48 for a five pack. They finally got it in. We've gotten a couple comments on this uh, over the last couple trips we've been here. Uh, looks like our star store finally has it back in here. Uh, check your local Sam's Club to see if theirs is in. We've never tried this. Uh, we may try this at some point. Uh, we are loaded down on macaroni, though, so not today, but we've got a lot of good comments on this. So one thing everybody might want to check is whatever kind of cereal that you usually get. You might want to look and check out the ounces, see if you're getting a good deal at Sam's Club. Uh, usually it's always a better deal. This is two pretty big bags of Frosted Flakes for $5.98. Now, we've seen even the large... Frosted Flakes is $3.99 and the Mega is $4.99, so this is probably a pretty good deal. And with Sam's Club, you do have to buy in bulk, but honestly, I recommend it because in the long run, you're saving money. Uh, 43.6 ounces for Fruit Loops, uh, and that's both the bags combined, but that seems like a lot of ounces of cereal for $6.42. That is a great deal. They have Kellogg's 76.5 ounces for $7.74. That is an incredible deal. Most importantly, they have it. We have seen that Raisin Bran has been going out the door again, and especially with Aldi, they don't have the Millville brand in. It's funny, the Millville brand went up at Aldi, yet they can't get any in. I'm going to go ahead and buy this because this is a great deal and you guys know I love my Raisin Bran. Jessica at work here. <laughs> Got Lucky Charms. How many ounces is that one? Uh, it says 46. 46 ounces, $4.92. What a deal. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I did want to point out, Jess found the yoo -hoos. How much? How much was that? <laughs> Do you remember how much it $10, was? $10, I think. 10 bucks? 10.98. That's good. That's actually down from 11.98 for uh and we are finding some savings in here today. That's a 24 pack, right? Yep. Okay. So, I'm trying to stay away from this stuff. <laughs> but I got to say, this is a great combination. I've tried both of these. Love the Reese Puffs treats and the cinnamon crush cinnamon toast treats. Uh they are really good. $7.98 for 30 bars is an incredible deal. You have the 49 pouches of the Oats and Honey Nature Valley bars. We get tons of comments on these. Doesn't look like they have many. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. They do. They got another pallet full here. That's good to see. You always got to look above you. Um, $13.58 for 49 two-count packs. 39 two-count packs. That's a great deal. Great deal. Also, for reference, I did want to mention that I did check the tops here above the Del Monte and all this stuff, and they don't have extra pallets of it. So what you see is what's left. Now, they'll probably get some shipments in, but I just want to bring this to your attention because with everything going on right now, if you want these kind of things to kind of stock up on a little bit, uh, you might want, to get, might want to get the Sam's Club or Costco or any place where you can stock up on these things and try and save a buck or two. Our favorite kind of macaroni and cheese is the Deluxe Craft. Nice and creamy. We actually like it better than Velveeta. 
it is actually a pretty good deal. Thirteen eighty four for eight packs. Now these have been uh, they were two ninety nine. Now we've seen in other stores that they're three nineteen. Some as high as three twenty nine a box. This brings it down to a dollar ninety eight a box. And I checked the expiration date. It expires in December, uh, December twenty eighth, twenty twenty two. So you have until December to use eight boxes. But I know we'll use them. Lately, we have gotten a lot of comments on Chef Boyardee. Uh, what's funny is when I was talking about Chef Boyardee months ago, nobody seemed interested. Now that they're going away, everybody's interested. Um, <laughs> eight ninety eight for a twelve pack. That's less than a dollar a piece. That's a great deal. We've seen that it's been a dollar twenty five a can pretty much everywhere. So we've gotten some comments on spam lately. So I wanted to point out that you can get an eight pack of spam here for twenty one ninety eight. We've seen that it's been about four dollars a can. $4 a can. These are 12 ounce cans, the same that we were talking about at Meyer, and they were uh, $3.59, and then I think they went up again. So, uh, yeah, if you, four times eight is 32 minus uh, $2. So, yeah, you're saving $10 when you buy this here. So, they are pretty loaded down on Campbell's chicken noodle soup here. 12 pack for $10.28. That makes it less than a dollar a can. We've seen at Kroger, they have been selling this for $1.89 a can, unless you buy the four pack, which is $4.99, sometimes $4.79, but that's still about $1.25 a can. Uh, this makes it about $0.89, $0.85 cents a can, so that's, that's a pretty good deal. Plus, they have the cream of chicken for $8.98 for 10 pack, but still less than a dollar a can, and they got the cream of mushroom. That's kind of funny because I haven't seen the cream of chicken boxes here or the cream of mushroom so good to see they're starting to get these back in again however i do not see any tomato oh there it is okay so yeah they got the tomato soup too uh ten dollars and 28 cents for a 12 pack great deal been getting a lot of comments on tuna too and i wanted to show that the 12 pack of the star kiss tuna the chunk light tuna uh 10.98 so that's less than a dollar a can that's, you know, that's a pretty good deal. We've seen that these have gone up to $1.09. We've seen them as high as $1.19 a can in the stores. So to get them less than a dollar right now, that's a pretty decent deal. They also have the six packs of the Denty Moore Beef Stew. Uh, 15 ounce cans, six of them for $10.98. That's a pretty decent deal. We've been seeing these go for like $2.79 uh, to $2.99 a can. That's not bad. They also have the solid white albacore, which we've gotten some comments on of the Star Kissed for $10.62. So about 35 cents cheaper than the Chunk Light tuna. And yeah. Oh wait, no, this isn't this is an eight pack though. I'm sorry. This isn't 12. This is an eight pack. So a little smaller there. But I was kind of wondering, because usually this is a little more expensive, but still a good deal because we've seen these as high as $2 a can. So we've gotten a lot of comments on ramen lately. And now the only ramen that I see here is the chicken flavor, but they have 24 of the regular packs of ramen for $4.48. We've seen at Kroger the six packs uh, they made it like it was a sale, and thank you to the viewer who mentioned that they went up three to five, three for five dollars of the six packs. So um, basically, that would be eighteen for five dollars. So you're basically getting an extra six. You're getting an extra six here for free, I guess, if you look at it that way. And really, it's like you're getting an extra six for free and saving 50 cents because it is only 4.48 here. This is definitely the best deal. And this is all they have. That's all they have. No other pallets of ramen noodles. Now we've seen it's kind of been going out the door, you know, with ramen. We've seen a lot in Walmart though, but I know a lot of people across the country have said that you, uh, your Walmarts have been pretty empty on ramen, so. They do have the cup noodles chicken 30 pack for $8.32. So cycling back around here to the coffee, I did want to show that they have the 51 ounce uh, Folgers Ground Classic Roast for $11.24. I do have to say coffee is looking pretty low here. Lowest I've ever seen it. And we're not seeing any up in the rafters either. That's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird. But yeah, this is usually filled to the brim with all the Pike's Place and stuff. These are the ground coffees. We'll go over and check out 
all the other coffee pods and stuff like that but i just wanted to point this out because it's uh eh, they are pretty well stocked on folders i will say plus they have the uh colombian or no the uh decaf here 33.9 ounces this is about the size at kroger so i don't know i do kroger's might actually be this size 33.9 i don't know they may have actually gotten smaller and i just haven't noticed We'll have to check that out, but it is $12.58 for 33.9 ounces of the decaf. Okay, so towards the beginning of the video, I pointed out that the 100 count Folgers Classic Roast Keurig pods, Keurig pods, were $42.33. This is something you may also want to look at when you go to checkout to make sure you're getting that $6.50 off because this is the real price, $35.83. I thought that was way too high. But that's probably going to be the regular price for the 100 count here. Um, $35.83. Make sure you take a picture of this to make sure you get it for the right price. So they do have the eight individual packs of the Nor sides. It is just the chicken flavor and the cheddar broccoli. It is $6.78, which makes it less than a dollar a pack. We've seen that these have gone anywhere from $1.19 to $1.35. Um, everything's going up. Okay, so this is a little weird right here. Um, they have this organic white rice here. And they have these two big things. Uh, the Basami rice, 20 pound, $17.98. Long grain white rice, $17.12. But I am not seeing any more. I, this is kind of crazy because they've had a whole wall of different kinds of rices i don't know if it's moved i wouldn't think so so they do still have the 25 pound box of the parbroiled rice for 11 dollars 26 but that is it that is it we don't see any more of the big bags of jasmine or any of those it's like they've completely taken them out I do not see anything above them either, so I don't know. Maybe they are selling this. I don't know. That's, that's kind of strange. I wanted to step back a little bit so I can give you an idea. And you can go back and watch some older videos of us at Sam's Club. But I mean, all this, all this was rice. Now all we have is these two big bags here and this and the parboiled rice. But I mean, that's it. There's no more. Okay, so I wanted to come back just to make sure I didn't miss something. I wanted to check over here where we were before by the Ben's Ready Rice to see if there was any other rice that I missed. Um, they do have this quina and brown rice here. They may have it scattered throughout. I'm not sure. We can't search all throughout the store today. I just thought that was really weird and wanted to come back and check because, uh, yeah, I don't know. So I did want to show that they have the two giant... 48 ounce packs of Jif peanut butter still for $9.77. You're not going to find a deal better than this. We've had some people ask about the Quaker grits um, and having trouble finding them. We haven't really had that issue. We find them at Kroger's. I just wanted to point these out. You get three packs, five pounds each for $7.74. That seems like a pretty good deal. They have two of the five pound bags of the Quaker quick one minute oats for $11.72. So I thought for a second that $40.58 was very expensive for the donut shop, but then I realized it's a hundred of them. So that's not too bad of a deal. Still, even if it was the 72 count, that is still a better deal than you're gonna get at Kroger or anywhere else. They do have the 94 count to the Mick Cafe for $36.98. I know we got a lot of Mick Cafe lovers on the channel here. Somebody was talking about the Tim Hortons coffee. Tim Hortons is great. Uh, it's really good. They finally got it back in here. 100 count for $39.48. Uh, not too bad since it's the 100 count. I always think like the 72 count that you get with Dunkin' or Starbucks. But yeah, this is 100 count, so that makes that a pretty decent price. So Jessica just pointed something out here. There's toilet paper and paper towels on the top rafters of... Everywhere I mean, back here. All Everywhere. I mean, these are all toilet paper. That's all toilet paper. <laughs> so, I you would say, yeah, Sam's Club <laughs> is ready. Well, guys, we're back from Sam's Club. 
Yeah! <laughs> um, we saw some price increases, but we actually saw some price drops, too, uh, with some of the coffees. We saw that Starbucks went up, Dunkin' went, went down. Uh, we saw that Del Monte is the same price, but they are pretty low compared to what they normally have. Um, looks like everything else, though, the meat. Uh, the only thing that was still the same price of the chicken was the 98 cent per pound drum legs. We did see that the, uh, the thighs went up, probably because they've been having, having trouble getting them in. Uh, those steaks for ten ninety nine a pound, the ribeyes, is about the best deal that we've seen on them. Uh, really good meat, too. But the, uh... The hamburger was still four eighteen a pound, uh, the eighty eight percent lean, and uh, what else? I don't know. They, got, they they did have plenty of toilet paper. Uh, as soon as we walked in the store, there we were rushing back to the toilet paper because we saw it in everybody's cart, and we were like, oh, you know, we might just have to hurry up and get this. But yeah. uh, you know, it, it was good to get to Sam's Club today and stock up with everything that's been going on. Uh, we know, you know, there's been a lot of things missing in the stores lately, so we wanted to make sure that we stocked up on a few extra things uh, to make sure that we got, you know, more stuff stocked up. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you so much for joining us today. With all that being said, we are out, and always remember the adventure.